All right, and now it's step five of how to solve your average three by three by three Rubik's cube. So here we are. Last step, we did this cross, which is not like the green cross in that we haven't actually outlined this with the middle pieces. All right, so let's just say your thing is like this. You're just going to twist until you have one that matches. If you have two, uh, turn it so that just one matches. If they're all already in the right spot, which happens sometimes, just move on to the next video. So, put your thumb... This is just a technique, don't actually twist right now. Put your thumb on the one that's in the right spot. Now, look at all the other sides. White, yellow, and orange. Okay? Now, imagine you shift all of those one... Counter, uh, one clockwise, no, counterclockwise, without counting the one that you put, that you have your thumb on, alright, then, you say, okay, in this case, white has to go, which is here, has to go, one, no, because that's orange, two, so you're gonna repeat this formula twice, alright, so, <coughs> here's, here's how it is, it's really simple to do, because you only have to move two sides, alright, R U R I U R U U and then R I and there we are so that's once and I'm just gonna quickly do it again Voila. So, as you can see, we have this uh, cross here that's aligned. Next step, we'll learn how to align the corners. Okay, see you next time.